All right, y'all. So I just got out of Academy Sports. Let's stop here real quick. It's coming up on 10 o'clock. I got uh, some no-brainers, but I got a different color I'm going to try. Um, the 5-inch Trick Stick. So I'm going to use these for wacky rigging. I can Texas rig them too if I want. Probably throw them weightless. But anyway, the uh, Big Bite Baits, because I love Big Bite Baits. I don't know why, but they catch... And it has the bite juice in it. So, <laughs> but anyway, black and blue metal flake. I thought those would be really good for some reason. And so overcast here, I think black and blue would be awesome. I got two packs of those, same color. And I got something a little out of ordinary for me. Um, actually, a little, a lot of out of ordinary. Hold that the right way. Yeah. Got a H2O Express swim bait. It's on the larger size there I don't know we'll try it this time of year with the with them eating the way that they're eating sometimes they want something that's a lot bigger and the s waiver that I have is just it's too big to throw on it was actually too big I tried throwing it on my bait caster um, before I broke it and it was actually too big but anyway I am going to get on the road here and Excuse me. I'm going to get on the road here and go find a place to fish. I don't know where, but we're going to go fish. Okay, so I couldn't secure the kayak. Um, couldn't, I didn't have access to the panels, or paddles, not panels, paddles. Um, but as promised, we are fishing a swamp. And just as proof that this is definitely a swamp, check these out. That's right, you better jump. The turtles. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Anyway, let's we'll see what we can catch here. A lot of the fish in here were killed um, during the Hurricane Florence fiasco, but there should be some nice big bass on beds. So hopefully we can catch some of those today. moving two forty two right. not bad two forty two Oh my goodness! How? Alright, they, they have to be sitting on beds where I can't see them. That is the only thing I can figure. So for those of y'all that don't know what makes that noise, it's these guys right here. I don't know how close they'll let me get to them. See them? Frog is stuck. We're gonna free him.
maybe we're gonna slip into the water is what we're gonna do how's that around your neck buddy oh let's see There you go. <laughs> He's free! There's like a million of them, but we saved one. Why did you go right back into it? You went right back into it. Come on, dude. You can do better than that. Yeah, I know. You want to be friends now. But I can't be friends with you. I have to go catch fish. I must go catch fish. Goodbye. I'll remember you. Goodbye, David. Well, there we go. That's our good deed for the day. Saved one frog, and there are still millions more. All right, y'all, it's time to throw this. Bandito bug time. Holy cow, that was a good jump. Stay down, stay down. Yeah. All right. That's at least two. Out. They're zeroed. Come on. Two, six, two. Two, six, two. All right. Not bad. I would have guessed. Yeah, probably about two, six, two. I was wondering where the kick was. All right, we need one more, and then we can go to a different spot. I can get some sun. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna catch one more, and then I think I'm gonna go home because I haven't seen Jesse and the kids all weekend. Well, I don't know. We'll see. We shall see. That's exciting. One more. Bandito bug. It's about toast. Do you have one more in you? You know what? I don't think I've flipped this one yet. Might be able to flip it. Holy cow! <laughs> oh, come on, get up here. <laughs> stop, stop, stop. Oh, yes! <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yes! 
Oh, I watched that one come up and get it. That was awesome. Oh, I saw a minnow uh, running away from my lure. And then that thing came up and went, gulp. God, it scared me. This one feels like it's over two. Alright, zeroed out. Feels like it's over two. We got two. Two fifty one. Awesome. Two fifty one. Whoops. It's okay. I'll get those in a second. Two fifty one. That is so cool. Goodbye, buddy. Thank you. <laughs> Man, I was not expecting that. That was so cool. It was like, right here, um, I yanked it up and I saw my lure come up and then I saw a minnow sort of shoot off over this way. And then I saw something come up behind my lure and uh, realized it was a bass. And I was like, oh my goodness. Well, you saw my reaction. That was so cool. That was really, really cool. Ball moving. It's like a pretty good point right here. Trying to get a, a bee up on my line. Grab it. Grab it. Oh, no, you're supposed to grab it. Oop. Sitting here fooling with a bee and I just got a hit. There's one. <laughs> Hey, maybe the secret was I was supposed to be fooling with a bee. Oh, that one, I don't think that's going to be... Oh boy. You are going to have a sore mouth, bud. I don't think that's going to beat 2.42, but we are going to weigh it anyway. And the bee's just gonna have to deal with it. All right, let's zero it out. And let's get it clicked. Never mind. We got a new low, 2.53. Alright, that time I dropped the scale. 2.53. See where a good place to let you go is 2.53. Alright, so that's my new small fish. Oh. Have to get you out there a little bit. <laughs> all right 2.53 that's the new small all right y'all so right now i'm just making my way back to the car well back to the truck um my truck is actually see there's trees all the way over there my truck is about two and a half football fields past that so i'm just gonna walk this path go up and then make it back there probably gonna take me like I don't know. I want to fish some more spots on my way back there. I don't think I'm going to make it over to that other lake today. Just because it's getting late and I'm actually, I don't have any sunscreen on. So, I think I am just going to make my way back to the truck and call it a day. But, I might catch some more on the way back there. 
I'm just gonna throw out in spots where I'm have a pretty good feeling about. So that bumps off my 2.42. This is going to be really, really fun going back through all this footage and trying to figure out what's what. The fisherman in me can't just walk back to the car either. I should just walk back to the car. So I can go home and see Jesse and the kids for a little bit. Instead of slowly making my way back to the car. But then I keep thinking, you know what? Oh, there's one. Does he have it? Nope. Oh, that was the hit. There he goes. Oh, bluegill. Look, there goes his arm. All right, well, I'm not casting back out right there. There's one. fat one. Oh, that's a fat one. That one might be what we were looking for there. Yeah, I'm gonna have to turn that hook. All right, well, let's just do this. Let's cut the line. Cut the line, my stuff's right there, not a big deal. Turn this down this way. I know, I'll get it out of there. Okay. Go up through here. We're not going to be able to weigh this one, which is sad because it could have helped us, but more worried about saving the fish. All right, got it down, turned down in there. Come on. All right, we got the hook out. Water will cauterize it. All right, I'm breathing, buddy. Get that water cauterized the wound. There she goes. Not worth killing the fish over. That fish will live. I didn't get a weight on it, obviously, but you know what? The fish's life is more important than winning a contest. And we'll catch bigger ones, right? Good, 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 good. All right. All right, stop, stop, stop. <laughs> That's awesome. So I was um, actually going by this spot and 
All right. Well. Jeez. I was going by this spot and then I saw there's cattails right there. And I was like, yeah, there's a bass sitting right there. All right, I'm gonna weigh you real quick. Cause my, I'm doing a tournament and if you just cooperate, that would be awesome. I'm getting pretty quick at this. And I'm remembering, Jim, G-Money Strong Outdoors. Okay. Said I was getting good at it. There we go. Come on, be good, be good. Oh, yes. Right on the dot, 264. 264, you got that, Jim? Sweet. 264. Let's get you back in. Whoa, she's ready to go. All right, 264. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah. She's got some weight on her. Yeah, we're weighing that one. She's over two. She's definitely over two. Definitely over two. Feels feels like she's upper two. So Nope, 242, two, not gonna help us. Oh well, still fun to catch. Still fun to catch. All right, you go back that way. Oh, she went straight out that way. You gotta go back that way. If she was on a bed. I don't know if she was on a bed or not. Oh, there she is. Blanche, good old Blanche. Perched in the same spot where I left her. No ticket or anything, that's good. Alright, I'm back. I'm going to do an outro and then I'm headed home to spend some time with Jesse and the kids. Alright y'all, um, yeah I got some sun today. Got way too much sun today. I uh, forgot to put sunscreen on this morning, I did not know. They said that it was supposed to be partly sunny or partly cloudy, I don't know what the difference is, but it was supposed to be mostly overcast today with clouds and stuff and it wasn't it was full sun but uh anyway i am headed home jesse's making dinner and i got a bunch of stuff to do I actually uh need to edit a video so actually no i need to edit two videos i think i'm gonna put two videos up tomorrow which is monday anyway i need to head home and do a bunch of stuff and i need to look over a contract um but i can't tell you guys about that yet you'll find out about it soon um, anyway, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Make sure that you hit the like button if you like the video. Make sure that you comment if you have one. I know you do. Make sure that you subscribe. And when you subscribe, turn on the little bell notification. Take care.